Hey guys, Mark here. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick review um, just to show you all the uh, various menu settings on the TFT screen. So uh, stay tuned and I'll show you what I think about it all. Okay guys, so um, just thought I'd run through all the controls, show you the TFT screen, all the menu, um, all the rider modes and all the controls. So just starting over here, you quickly just hit this button with the key in your pocket, that fires up the whole screen and this is your home page if you like. So um, this is like the default, if you press the up button here, it gives you a bit more information on the bottom, fuel gauge, range and temperature, press it again and you've got your odometer temperature oil temperature now this is the sort of one that i generally have been using so you go back here back button that's your back button it brings it back to standard view so over here on this side we've got your cruise control button that's your back button up down left and right and you kind of confirm enter button down here is your resume on the cruise control and increase the speed and just under there if you can see that is your set button for the cruise so to get into the menu it's menu button right so you start off with uh, trips and data so to get into all these settings again you push the right button and we've got trip one trip two general info tire pressure and warning so let's have a look into trip one gives you your sort of trip meter average consumption that's good 49 to a gallon average speed trip time fuel range so we go back button now we scroll down to trip two gives you a similar sort of thing all this obviously can be reset back button again so general info have a look on that We've got the date, odometer, battery, and oil temperature. Back button again. Tire, air pressure, and I don't expect this is gonna work because, oh, it has, it does work. Um, sometimes it doesn't work when the engine's not on. 35 front, 40 rear, which is pretty much okay. Back button again. Warnings, reserve, fuel reserve, that's fair enough. Service. We've got next service during 7,300 miles. It's pretty good. Back. Extra functions. Now, all of these, you can't access them. I'm just presuming you need the, either the engine going or I don't know what on that one. So, if someone could correct me, that'd be great. So, now, ride, ride modes go into that one. Now, I currently ride it on in Sport. That's my favourite. If you scroll down, hold the confirm button here. That puts it into rain, go back, and you can see now that we're now in rain mode, which obviously is softer throttle response, less power. We go into ride mode again, scroll up, confirm, back into sport mode. And we've got sport mode there. So go into your menu settings again, you've got your ride mode. So performance and track, they're all fully customizable. Take turns off wheelie control, turns off traction control, puts on super moto mode, all that sort of good stuff. So what we've got now, motorcycle. So that's MTC, MSR, motorcycle traction control and motor slip regulation. You can turn those on or off. ABS mode, road or super moto. Quick shifter, on or off. Settings. So custom switches. Now over here, you've got C1 and C2 buttons. So you can you can customize these how you want them. So have a little look. So we go into custom switches. Custom switch one. And you can see here, MTC, MSR, anti-wheelie mode, ABS mode, ride mode, throttle, launch control, audio player, etc, etc. 
custom switch 2 is pretty much the same so you can basically just customize them how you want them to be I'll show you I'll do this in a minute over there so coming back so now we've got Bluetooth on or off headset Bluetooth headset or corded headset display theme automatic nightlight button illumination bright medium dark or off shift light obviously you can adjust your shift light eight and a half thousand or ten thousand date and clock obvious uh, units put it into miles kilometers psi bar fahrenheit language there you go all different languages heated grips not currently available they're not fitted heated seat that would be nice in the winter not fitted and that's it so just came back out of that so yeah if you flick this button here c1 and c2 let's see what this does so you can basically it, it comes default with traction control and motor slip regulation um, on but you can turn this off but you have to be doing that you know kind of once the bike started as soon as you turn the bike off it goes back on again with traction control so you can turn that off and you've got ABS mode road or supermoto so supermoto sort of turns the uh, rear ABS off to sort of back it into corners if you like so guys that's pretty much it really um, all very sort of tactile controls back button cruise up down left and right confirm resume plus for the um, cruise indicators horn high and low beam flash set button just there for your cruise there's your display and C1, C2 hazards um, turn the whole system on and off and engine kill switch and engine start so if I just hold this down quickly just turns it off quick push again fires it up okay guys I think so it just says fuel reserve I hope that was some help to you and um, stay tuned and I should be posting some more videos on this amazing awesome bike very soon cheers guys all the best bye bye